I had a 20-year career in the inner city of Detroit. Inner city Detroit was a different reality. I remember the first week that school started at the high school, I told my um, dean that I, we had a gang member who was bringing a lot of drugs and guns into the school. So I told the dean, you have to get rid of this gang member. I want him out, and I want him out today. I want you to tell him he's gone. And so I naively told them, get rid of this gang member. And they they went off, and they got him. And so there was a dean of students sitting behind his desk and two really big security guards standing by the door. And I figured they've been in the office long enough. He knows he's gone. So I walked in there, you know, in my little suit, <laughs> size zero, and I said, I don't care what you do. I don't care where you go. I have the safety of every student in this school to be concerned with, and I'm not concerned about you. At that point, I quickly realized that <laughs> no one had said a word to him. And, you know, no one said to me, wow, you can't let, you can't get rid of a gang member because you will be dead. <laughs> and so he jumped out of his chair and he pushed me into the corner and he put his hands around my throat and he was choking me. I was on my toes. I was off the ground and he's choking me and I'm gasping. And the dean of student jumped up out of his desk to get me and he actually knocked over his whole desk trying to get to me and these other two security guards and took all three of them to pull this kid off of me. And the kid used his finger like a gun and as they pulled him off and put it at my head and he acted like he had clicked the trigger. And he said, I can see your head anywhere. You better, you're gone. You're, you're done. I guess what struck me is his eyes just had no emotion. He was just, he was gone. He didn't, I, I, I knew he didn't care what happened to him. And, and if you don't care what happens to yourself, you don't care what happens to other people. And the funny thing is, probably two years after I had that first kid in my office, um, I was walking down the street. And he passed me, and he said, I know you. Then uh, I kind of stepped back. He's like, oh, you know what? You really set me straight. And you're, you're okay. You're cool. <laughs> yeah, that was, maybe I should be afraid of this position. But you get in there, and it's every day. You know, you, you're, you're not afraid because you wouldn't be there if you were. And you never know. I mean, they had hard lives. And, you know, you look at them and you think, God, they're so tough. And, yeah, they're not tough at all. They're kids.